Hey yo friendos, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a special guest. This blurred out image that you see right here is a real human man that I'm going on vacation with in just one short week from today. Now at the time you're seeing that, we're already on vacation. So in a second, he will be revealed and he's got some questions for me. If you are with it, then friendos, just stay tuned. So friendos, meet the man I'm going with on vacation. This is my sister's boyfriend. Meet Dakota. He's also my roommate. And oh, hi, yeah, Mark. we're all going on vacation together. Nothing really <laughs> weird going on there. <laughs> Hello. I couldn't get a real human man of my own to come on the channel. So you shall suffice. I think so for now. Yeah. So in today's video, I'm going to be following a tag here on YouTube that's called Confessions of a Content Creator. Now I have a few questions. They are written down, but as you know, I can't read. So <laughs> that's why I have Dakota here. I can. You can for sure. I think so. Okay, what grade level? So I've read a couple of things. The one book about the caterpillars oh, back in elementary school. Oh, I love school. that one. That Probably had it read to you though. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. I read that myself. Up top. <laughs> okay, so you have the questions. Should we go right into these or should we tell the story about what happened last night? Uh, I guess we could tell it. I hit my head. <laughs> That's a long story short. I hit my head. <laughs> I hit it pretty hard. <laughs> We're going after after the cat and fell over. <laughs> Anya got lost in the studio and he was chasing her all over the studio. <laughs> and Anya's quick, you guys. Like she's she, very fast. She is elusive. When she, and when she knows it is time for bed, if she's not ready, like she is a force to be reckoned with. So, anyways, I thought I had her. Trap. And she was running out of the studio and I went to grab her and I cut her little hips. She had her right at her hips <laughs> and was bent over. <laughs> and then she slips out of her hands and <laughs> zooms away. And next thing you know, all of a sudden I see Laurel just topple over. <laughs> yeah, I hit my head on the wall and I just went rolling. <laughs> Okay, so if I'm a little if I'm a little nutty today, it's because I probably have a concussion. Okay, so this all kind of just looks like gibberish to me, but okay, hopefully no, you can I can translate. Okay, thank I'll, you. I'll work it out for you. Okay. Okay, guys. So the first question we have today: How do you feel about the term influencer? And do you feel that you are one? So I feel very neutral about the term. I don't really feel bothered by the term influencer. And I do consider myself to be a micro influencer. I think that there's a few of you out there watching. When I'm doing a review specifically, I think a few of you take into account my experience, my opinions, and the information that I share with you before you go out and purchase a product. So in that sense, I guess I am a micro influencer. Okay. Yeah. Understood. I feel like I'm an influencer on this household on where we decide to eat a lot of the time. That's true. And we need that. We definitely need that push. All right. Going to the second question okay. here, guys. How did you decide to become a content creator? You guys told me I had to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the real treasure of this house comedically, and mm. it's a shame to just have it all wasted on you guys, That's and true. that I needed to share my gift with the world. The so. rest of us aren't funny. She is. <laughs> Seriously though, I wanted to come on YouTube and do this for years. I'm one of those people where I can be perfectionist and I want everything right. Just like I wanted this set up and everything. You mm -hmm. remember forever before we actually like got together and decided to do YouTube videos. Yeah. But I liked watching YouTube videos of all different sorts. I think I'm really drawn to makeup videos, but I also like them to be entertaining while I watch them. So I wanted to give people the same thing that I enjoy. Got it. Okay. Cool. Good answer. All right. Third question, guys. What's your experience with knowing other creators in life, good or bad? So I actually haven't met any YouTubers in real life that I've had like a full on conversation with. Now, some of them I've talked with off camera, for example, Audrey Michelle, I collabed with. I also collabed with um, Caitlin Christine. They're both super nice. And honestly, everyone who I've talked to, everyone who I've talked to privately has been just great people. So cool. all, all positive. Well, little did you know, I've made a single YouTube video in you, my life before. You did? Yes, what did you I make? I did. It was I, about a video game. And we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> 
You it know, did not bode well. Okay, so why don't we leave that video Let's down not. below? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to move to the next question. Do you accept sponsorships and how do you feel about them? Okay, so I, I guess I could rephrase that as in, in the future, will you accept sponsorships and how will you handle those? Okay, so, so far... I've only done one video. It's not, it wasn't technically sponsored, but the, where a brand reached out to me and sent me product and that was Merit. Since then, I actually have had companies reach out to me and ask for sponsored videos and also to send me free product. Mm -hmm. So I've been asked for the two of them. So far though, like the companies that have approached me, they're not well established enough that I would feel comfortable like recommending them to you guys. And then most of them have products that are made in China. You guys know i'm trying to stay away from that so i was gonna ask that so yeah i won't be doing anything where the products are made in china unless things like really change but yeah if, let's say if merit reached out to me i really enjoy their products if they reached out to me they were cool with me saying what i want to say about the products mm -hmm. then sure i would do a sponsorship with them or okay you know who i want to do a sponsorship with who's that dead cool Dead cool would yeah. be awesome. We got Detergent. a lot of dead cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On to the next. Let's see. Have you had an experience with a brand that left a very bad taste in your mouth or just a bad taste in general? No. 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 That's just a. Sh it's just a short no. I haven't. <laughs> okay. Easy enough. How do you deal with the negative comments that you receive? So the truth is, for negative comments, honestly, I kind of feed the trolls. If I'm being honest. So like one guy, I remember commented on one of my videos, and he was like, "No wonder you only have 300 subscribers or something like that." And it's because he was so butthurt that I didn't give House Labs like a glowing review on their eye paints or whatever it was clearly badly damaged by this so i just responded something like thank you so much for subscribing and being a supporter he just goes on he's like but i didn't subscribe <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like are you sure you didn't subscribe and all that's doing is he's leaving me more and more comments which helps yep. me get more and more into the algorithm very smart so, so thank you to the haters <laughs> Well, one thing too, your channel, you're very, very honest with your viewers and about the makeup and products that you review. Mm -hmm. So honestly attracts negativity. So seems like you deal with it really well though. All right. What's your biggest pet peeve when it comes to comments? Let's say that there's something that I say in the very first part of the video and someone asked me that same question that I just went over. It's, I feel like a teacher, you know how teachers yeah. get annoyed at their students like asking the same questions. Let's say I introduce the palette. I'm like, I'm doing the psychedelic circus review today. Mm -hmm. And someone leaves in the comment section, what is the name of this palette or something like that? <laughs> like that does kind of annoy me. Like not to the point where I'm like angry or anything, but I'm just like, oh God, did someone help this person? <laughs> I get it. That yeah. can be very frustrating. Like you said, the analogy of the teacher was really well put. All right. This is a good one. What's your favorite part of being a content creator? Having fun with my viewers. So getting to chat it up with them in the comment section yep. and us get to talk about different makeup and perfume products. Really anything. I love talking to you guys. Y'all have great insights. And I have some real smart cookies. I'm, I'm not even saying this to flatter them. I have some real smart cookies for viewers, for very sure. Cool. What's your least favorite part about being a content creator? creator. I wish that I had more time to put into it. So behind the scenes, you know, we're trying mm -hmm. to run a company and it just feels like there's not enough hours in the day. I would love to be doing this like full time. If we could clone me or like hire someone to be me at the company so that I could come on camera more often, mm -hmm. that would be ideal. I would say the hardest part is finding the time. Got yeah. it. That makes sense. Here's a good one. Do you edit your own content? And if so, do you enjoy it? <laughs> Thank God. No, I don't. There's no way. This, <laughs> Y'all, this would not be possible. These videos would not be at all possible without my sister and without Justin. They are my editing duo. I struggle with technology. Just in life in general, I tend to be the creative. I'm kind of spastic. I'm all over the place. I'm just one of those types. I need people around me that can utilize those talents and we can play off of each other. So my sister also has a very artistic 
artistic mind, but she's really good with computers, really good with technology, and she picks up on things really, really fast. So I have to give her a lot of credit for my videos. Justin, on the other hand, he's a little bit more wacky, zany. He's definitely a fast learner too, um, but he's very passionate and he's not afraid to take risks in the videos. And I feel like that pays off a lot. Like if I ever blow up in a video, you can bet Justin's the one who edited it, so. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't edit. I, I could never. What do you draw the line in regard to sharing on social media? I don't ever plan on posting nudes. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, I will say though, there is money there. <laughs> okay, we'll let you do that. I, if I could, I would. You guys let me know. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna start the bidding here today. $500, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You know, I haven't really given it that much thought. Here's something that I do take into consideration. A lot of influencers, like especially like the big name influencers, I feel like share too much. I never want to share something that makes you guys feel bad. That's kind of vague, but a lot of people will share like if they're having a fight with another influencer mm -hmm. or- Drama. Yeah, just drama. If I have a problem with someone, I'd rather like hash it out with them one-to-one. -one. I don't really want to bring everyone else into it. If it's so terrible that something has to be done, I would probably just have lawyers take care of it. Makes sense. Um, yeah. As far as my personal life, like I don't really want to give out my address, like anything that could put me in danger as a person. Mm -hmm. Other than that though, I, I'd say I'm pretty open. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's see. Name one thing that you wish you knew when you were starting out as a YouTuber. That we needed a microphone from the very get-go. <laughs> <laughs> the microphone has caused some issues over time. It has, yeah. So I would say that, and I wish I would have known a little bit more about how the YouTube algorithm worked. I know that that's, that too is vague, but there's, there's a lot there and I don't want to bore you guys. Yeah. So I'll yeah. just leave it at that. I like it. Is there any change you'd like to make to your content in the future? Yes. So I would like to do more like travel videos. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to vlog some while we're on vacation. I don't know if it will turn out. We're gonna test some gear and see what's possible. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to do more traveling content. Eventually I'd like to get multiple setups so that we're not just like here with this setup yeah. every single time. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. What company slash collab is your dream? We already know this. Yeah, that's All right, one, obvious. two, three. Jeffrey? D what? No. I, okay, I don't no. know what the Really? It's really not. So it? It, it's not that I wouldn't love to collaborate or that I wouldn't like to collaborate at least, but Jeffrey has really bad shipping. And mm. so like for that reason, he wouldn't be like at, at the very top okay. of who I'd like to collaborate with. I'll say this, it's actually not a makeup brand. It's a dead cool? Yes, ah, yeah, okay. they, would, they would be my number one because I just, I feel inspired by their products mm -hmm. and I feel like that they're doing something different in the industry and just almost everything that I've tried from them, I've been absolutely obsessed with. So cool. I feel like, especially with me having experience working in fragrance, I feel like we could create something really magical. Now remind me, do they do makeup? products as well or is it mostly just fragrance it's just fragrance now they've come out with like chapsticks they mm -hmm. have air fresheners now they have these poop drops poop <laughs> drops they're basically like poopery okay yeah but i don't want to buy them so hear me out i think that if i had like my favorite fragrance mm -hmm. and if i just smelled the poop a little bit mixed with that like, <laughs> like it's it gonna cause some sort of mental yeah. connection there and yeah. it's gonna ruin it completely right i, I could get that so yeah um, all right dead cool it is mm -hmm. yeah i was wrong <laughs> Let's see. What other creator do you admire slash want to work with? So I'm not going to name off just like one person, mm -hmm. but I want to work with some smaller YouTubers. Cool. Honestly. Because you guys can all kind of lift yourselves up together. So yes, I like to network with other people. I like to find people that I can create with and that there's a good flow with. Mm -hmm. So for example, when I reached out to Caitlin Christine and asked her to collab with me, it was because we both were kind of on the same wavelength about a similar topic and we both had a similar way of thinking about it. Now, how we were going to deal with the issue, which is we are not fall people, mm -hmm. I knew that that could be entirely different. And I thought that would make for a fun project to see how each of us would cope with the fall season and making it 
more fun and getting into it just like everyone else is around us. Sounds so. good. I like it. Yeah, I liked that video actually. Thanks. So just to sum it up, I like to work on certain projects with certain people. And in the future, I hope people will reach out to me if they have a project that they want to work on. And if I have like a creative idea in my mind, I want to reach out to a certain person that I feel like would be good for that video. Uh, let's see. We're getting to the end here, folks. So what kind of content do you hate? Or just strongly dislike because hate is a very strong word. I hope I'm not stepping in here. The type of content that I hate is when people make something that's purposefully supposed to drag another person down. Yeah. I understand that sometimes people feel the need to make content in defense of something that someone else said when they're the one to basically throw yeah, the first that's punch. Wrong. Yeah, I hate that. All right, guys, we got one last question here to wrap things up. Have you ever had to deal with cancel culture? And if so, how? No. Now, I do have people who will sort of admonish me for mm -hmm. featuring Jeffree Star Cosmetics on my channel. As far as canceling me, no. But, you know, I'm comedic. I say right. I have a really, like, dry sense of humor. So it's probably coming eventually. I'll have said something to someone that I met one time 10 years ago. And they're probably going to come on here and say, you know what she said to me? She said... Are, you know, like, <laughs> well, that's uh, you also know. boiled down to YouTube comments and it's at that point he said she said so But it can be slanderous to you so, defame you I guess I will say this like I think eventually someone will probably take a joke that I said Seriously the way the tides are flowing now if you will I feel like anything that you said ever in your life It doesn't matter if it was 20 years ago Someone can hold it against you and the whole world can decide to cancel you so like in the case of Jeff Free star. I don't really like follow him, follow him. Like I follow the makeup, but I don't follow him. But I don't find him in general or most content creators, even if they're problematic, I normally don't find them to be evil people. What I find to be more evil is, for example, the Uyghur genocide that's mm -hmm. going on in China. In case you guys wonder, that's the reason why I try not to buy any products from China. I really try to cut back. It's hard in the US, but that's why. So people like that, people who are in charge of that kind of thing, I consider them to be evil. But YouTube content creators, I mean, problematic at best. Or, yeah. or problematic at worst. I think that's yeah. a really good way to describe it. I think you hit the nail on the head there. All right, last thing that I have is I'm gonna teach you a sentence. Okay. I'm just gonna read this to you, the very last question. Okay. And you're gonna just repeat it back to me while looking at the sentence. And we're gonna work on your reading okay. skills I'm just ready. a little bit, okay? Okay. Have. Have. Okay. You. You. Ever. Ever. Mm -hmm. Had. Had. To. To. Good job. Deal. Deal. With. With. Cancel. Can cancel. 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 Yeah. What's that one say? Cold. Cold. Sound it out. Culture. 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 Yeah, you know that word. Okay. And. And. If so, how? If so, how? A little too quick there. Okay. If, if so, so, how? How? The comma denotes a pause. Oh. You have to just slight pause there. Okay. All right. Read it back to me. Have you ever had to deal with cancel culture? And if so, how? She's I'm the cured. fastest learner that I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm a magician. Bye, friendos. Have a great one. We're going to have a ton of fun on vacation. And just so we're all on the same page here, just a little bit of house cleaning. The first week that we are on vacation, we did not take out cell phone plans to be out of the country. And we're not going to have internet. We're going to just spend time together as a family, yep. the family unit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I will catch you guys when I get back. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you'd like to see Dakota on here again. I think he did an Bye. excellent job as my co-host today and yeah we'll see you later bye, bye.